Hi folks. So I know it's been a while, but uh, you may have noticed, but it's been kind of a year um, for a lot of people. Uh, but uh, for at least some of us, there's a bit of good news uh, unrelated to uh, world events. And that is uh, the SWIC uh, actually has started shipping. Um, so if you remember back in late 2018, uh, SWIC started as a Kickstarter project uh, to produce a new uh, thoroughly modern uh, jackknife pick set design and uh, generated a, a fair amount of attention at the time. And it got funded and then late 2019, 2020 rolls around and uh, they're still working on prototypes and then you know, 2020 happens and uh, people start getting a bit worked up about it. Uh, but, uh, you know, a bunch of people came through, came together and got the project finished. And it is now actually shipping and starting to get into people's hands. So let's take a look at what you actually get. Um, so first off, you have this molded plastic body, two parts that are held together with a bunch of these uh, panhead hex drive screws. On each side, you have a uh, flat turning tool that is held in with a pair of magnets. Uh, up here, you have a little lanyard loop and you have your pick blades. We'll get to those in a minute. And then you have this pocket in the back for storing standard uh, turning tools. So uh, what you will get, uh, at least what most of us will get, is a broad standard turning tool. Nicely uh, rounded corners and everything, so you're not going to get it jamming on you. This plastic spacer that holds, that helps hold everything in. And if I can sort it out, this narrower uh, short nose turning tool for top of the keyway tensioning. And then uh, at some pledge levels, you will also get a couple of these spiral uh, broken key extractors and uh, master 175 decoding shims. Uh, that is going to depend on your pledge level if you backed it. And uh, I understand that they are working on making these commercially available once uh, the uh, Kickstarter backers are all taken care of. But those all pack pretty neatly into this pocket in the back. Um, supposedly, this is also sized so that you can pack all six of the turning tools that came with the Tool Tremendous 12 or the uh, Southern Specialties 12-piece uh, pick sets in there. Uh, if you like the double-ended um, Longhorn lockpicking uh, turning tools, those are going to give you a bit of trouble getting in there. But, um, you know, people are inventive. You might find a way. Uh, anyway, overall, nice, uh, lightweight, very compact. I mean, consider this is what I carry in my pocket every day. This is thinner than the entire pouch and obviously much smaller overall footprint. Uh, and has quite a few more pick profiles than I normally carry. Uh, now let's get to uh, the handle is also pretty nicely finished. Yeah, there is a bit of flashing uh, around the mold lines, but it's actually not terribly pronounced for the most part, and it's very easy to clean that up with a uh, an X-Acto knife or a uh, small uh, file if uh, it does cause you problems. Uh, and then let's get to the actual pick selection. So there's a little bit of a trick to getting the pick out and set. Um, David Storm actually did a video demonstrating this. I will link to it in the description, but I'll just show you the basics right here, which is uh, you can either take one of your flat turning tools 
slide it in there and then use both fingers to pull it up. Or you can just grab with these convenient finger cutouts, just grab the entire thing and pull up. Now there's a very strong spring in there that actually keeps these all locked in place. Uh, that's necessary to keep the extended pick locked in very firmly and to give you good feedback. But what you do is once you've got this out to 90 degrees, then you can fan out your pick blades to select the one that you want to use. So there's our pick selection. If I can get all these spaced out evenly so you can see them clearly. Uh, so you get a very shallow long reach tool, uh, very, use, uh, very useful for reaching all the way to the back of the lock uh, past a bunch of low set pins. You have an offset half diamond, also very useful for reaching behind a very deep pin to set a very shallow pin. A standard half diamond, I've talked about those before. A uh, round nosed medium hook, a flat nosed short hook, a sharp nosed uh, short hook, a gonzo uh, medium hook, and then a selection of four different types of uh, sign and cycloid. Uh, wave rakes, these little two hump ones. I actually was speaking to Christina Palmer who did the uh, designs and refinement to all of these pick profiles. I was talking to her yesterday and I asked her what those were about because I had never seen that before. And she explained that some people uh, like doing very targeted raking where they only want to rake a couple of pins at a time uh, or only a certain area of the lock. And so those are uh, designed to allow you to do that. You don't have to have this very long thing that's going to hit all of the pins at the same time. Uh, you can just go in and rake a couple of pins at the front or a couple of pins at the back, whatever you want to do. And then you get this uh, flat probe. But uh, you know me, I like uh, the flat nosed short hook. So we're going to fold that out, pack everything back together. And then this is the sort of Bit where you, this is the bit where you have to be a bit careful because that spring is very, very strong and you will uh, give yourself a bit of a bit of an ouch uh, if you are not careful at this step. What you do is take one hand and just brace that uh, pick uh, in the open position. And you're going to take your thumb and forefinger and with a sort of pinching motion, bring that pack of blades back in, and when you get to around 45 degrees, that spring is going to take over and snap them all closed very stiffly. Uh, so you don't want to get your any part of your hand uh, or anything else stuck between the body and those blades when they're folding up. Uh, so now that we've got our pick selected, let's uh, see how this actually works. Um, I've got a couple of just random old cylinders uh, that have been sitting on my bench here, and those are all fairly wide keyways, so I'm going to pick the wider uh, flat turning tool. Um, it has a short nose and a long nose. The long nose is designed to allow you to uh, deal with American lock or other padlocks that have a large, thick faceplate built up around them, or really any situation where you need to reach past some sort of obstruction. Uh, you know, just like in normal uh, Peterson pry bar or uh, Sparrow's equivalent or whatever. Uh, but since these don't have anything like that, we can just use the short tip. So we're going to just get that set in there. And uh, now you'll notice, uh, despite the fact that this is obviously much larger and thicker than, say, uh, the molded handle on a Peterson pick. It is not so large that for, at least for most people, you'll still be able to use roughly the same grip. Um, I found when I uh, used this for the first time, it was much more like the sensation of switching from a very thin or uh, like uh, just just a tang, no, no uh, 
side plates or over molded handle uh, pick to a uh, pick with a, a molded handle. So just a little bit of adjustment to your grip and you should find yourself fairly comfortable. Um, so we're just going to go in there and nothing on one. Two is giving us a bit of resistance. Gives us a click. Three, very stiff resistance there. Gives us a click. Nothing on four. Five is very stiff there. Gives us a click. And nothing on one. Click off of four and click out of one and we are open. Now, I will say, particularly for a jackknife pick, that is uh, pretty good feedback. And that's really because of how firmly locked that blade is. That very strong spring, as difficult as it is to actually extend and retract the, the pick blades, it does a great job of making sure that you have decent feedback there. And we'll try this, uh, this Corbin Keyway, still a old aftermarket Ilco cylinder, but feeling around three, four, gives us a bit of a click, five, three, and there we go. And this Schlage Keyway rim cylinder. Got no idea what condition this thing is in, but we'll give it a go. Okay, I think that was three or four. Gives it a click. Uh, one or two is giving us a little bit of resistance. There we go. Click out of four, click out of five. Small click out of two. And now I probably overset something there, so nothing out of one. Two. Yeah. There may very well be a reason why this is sitting on my workbench like this. There we go. A couple of clicks out of four and five. Well, that's just not going to work for us today, but just to demonstrate, it does, in fact, work. It does uh, give you pretty good feedback. Like, you know, obviously, you're, you're using a jackknife set. You are going to have to adjust your grip a little bit. And I will say one big drawback to this is that if you find yourself in a situation where you need to switch between different pick profiles... In the middle of picking, um, you're gonna have to have either a third hand or a second person there to help you switch because <clears throat> that takes a takes a bit of effort. But overall, um, I'm pretty pleased with how this all turned out. I think it's a very good. Uh, Certainly compared to other jackknives on the market, it's a very good tool. And uh, I think uh, for someone who wants a, a nice compact pick that they can either add to their everyday carry setup or uh, that they want to be able to just carry around easily when they need it, uh, it's a pretty good option. So anyway, um, oh, and one last thing I will mention, because a lot of people have uh, been asking about this. 
if you are a Kickstarter backer, uh, keep an eye out for an email from stamps.com. Uh, it's going to say, it's just going to say, so-and-so sent you a package. And it's probably going to be a name that you don't recognize. Um, and particularly if it's not associated with anything that you are expecting, um, chances are that's your shipping notification for your SWIC. Uh, it won't actually say SWIC or David Storm or anything that you would expect uh, to associate with the project. So just keep an eye out on that. Um, I know the, the postal system is a bit of a mess at the moment, but they are going out. I back this as just some schlub. Uh, they don't know me. They don't know that that was me when I ordered it. So uh, I got it the same as anyone else did. So if you haven't gotten yours yet, chances are you'll be getting it pretty soon. So, uh, yeah, so just thank you, everyone. I hope you're all safe, and uh, I hope you all are able to have fun, and happy picking. <laughs>